Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 5 of my Automate Everything series for modded Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I will be automating the usage of mechanism machines um, with the mod Applied Energistics 2 through the use of the ME system. And those are the only two mods that we will need for today. So let's get started. First off, you will need a usable ME system here. Right here, I do have a pretty simple system. So what we're going to do next is let's go ahead and extend this ME system just a little bit because we need to add a couple of things. Uh, first off, we need an ME interface. Um, and this is going to be for the first machine that I'm going to be doing. And then we need the machine itself. So I have a couple of machines over here. Um, first off, I will need the Ultimate Enrichment Factory. So this is one of the machines in the mechanism mod and it is one of the simple machines to automate. So let's go ahead and throw this down. So what we need to do here is go to the side configuration and we need to go to the back uh, because that is where the ME interface is connected to. And we will need to tell this to be both input and output. And we do need this to auto eject the items once they are done. So we'll hit this button right here. So these machines actually should be able to accept energy from any side. So let's go ahead and hook up the energy supply. Uh, we're just going to do it with some ultimate universal cable right here. And let's actually run this cable like so, and you'll see why in a minute. So this ultimate enriching factory can turn glowstone into the glowstone powder um, through this recipe right here. So let's go ahead and set a pattern for that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take blank patterns. We're going to put them right here. We are going to click this right here that enables a processing pattern. And we are going to tell it that one glowstone block equals four glowstone dust. And we are going to take this encoded pattern and put it into the ME interface right here into, um, not that slot right there, sorry, into the patterns slot. Um, one thing I did forget to grab are some crafting units, so I will be back here in a second. Okay, so one thing I actually forgot about just real quick was a crafting storage unit. You need, need the, these to be able to auto-craft things with an ME system. So let's just go ahead and attach it to the ME system right here. So now I should be able to auto-craft things. So now if I take a look here, I should be able to tell the system to make glowstone dust. And there we go. So let's see if this is working. It is. It is inserting the glowstone into the enrich, ultimate enriching factory. And once all of this glowstone is processed, it should push it back into the ME system because we have it configured to do so on the backside. So that's fantastic. Okay, so there are some machines that are a little bit more complicated in the mechanism mod in that they need more than one thing to actually complete a craft. And the ultimate infusing factory is one of those blocks. So what we're going to need to do is kind of repeat the same process to begin with. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Um, we'll put uh, ME Flukes cable right here and then another ME interface. And this interface will be up against the ultimate infusing factory. So let's go ahead and once again set this back face to be input and output. And we do need to once again hit this auto eject off or on rather. So um, this block actually needs uh, power as well. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Uh, so now that it has power, there's one more thing that we need to do. We actually need to insert something into this right here. And I did not realize that it had stuff in there. But you can just simply hit this dump if there is a fluid in here. So the thing is about the ultimate infusing factory. And let's take a look at the uh, recipes here. If we right click on the infusing factory and we go to the metallurgic infuser, uh, you need both a liquid here and then an item to be infused. And the recipe I'm going to be making today is this recipe right here. So we are going to be taking iron and making it into infused alloy. So uh, what, this, what this needs as well is we need redstone. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually insert redstone into the side. And we're going to do this with through an export bus right here. So I actually need to grab some redstone and some iron ingots, which I have over here. So let's go ahead and throw most of this stuff into the ME system, except for maybe a stack of iron ingots and a stack of redstone. So what we're going to do here is um, we are going to tell the export bus to export redstone. But we also need to tell this uh, factory here to be able to accept those items on the left side. And 
I'm not okay so it has to be yellow which is the extra slot and if you take a look right here you can see that this slot is outlined in yellow and this is for this tank right here so let's remove this out of the energy slot because it doesn't need to be there and as you see we are getting redstone in here now if we throw in iron ingots and let's go ahead and do that we get infused alloy so fantastic so now to set up this recipe we are simply going to tell it that one iron ingot equals one infused alloy now remember that this recipe will not work if you do not have redstone in this machine or if you don't have redstone in the ME system right here because if uh, the system or if the machine does not have redstone it cannot make the infused alloy however if you have plenty of redstone like I do laying around um, this is a really good way to automate these machines so let's go ahead and make sure it works first off so let's uh, tell it to make a hundred of these guys um, and that is not available because this craft is not done yet but I can just cancel it and so let's go ahead and watch it happen so as you can see the infused alloys are quickly popping out and that is fantastic so in today's episode I showed you how to automate mechanism machines through the use of the Applied Energistics 2 ME system. Uh, it's a really powerful combination and allows you to easily automate these machines right here. So if you feel like you learned something today, feel free to give a like down below and to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08 and I will see you next time.